welcome back darlings welcome back to my youtube channel and today i am back with zara cap because zara cap is a trendy cap now so my trend in there shining the face marco plating clothing tape your scissors sewing machine pocket shoes accessory glue gum and measurement so i'm going to cut two pieces of fabric that's 25 by 80 inches and clothing 15 inches so this is what we are making today you can add a little stone to the front so you can see the second picture just a little stone like one or two so you can add to it so let's get started <laughs> okay so this is the material that we'll be needing for this tutorial um also this is my birthday month and next week is my birthday so darling this is it these are more cold 13 by 3 inches by 19 inches and that's our pocket shoes and this is our plate quilone can you see so this is about needle gonna be needing sorry about trade you're gonna be needing to do and that is uh, what i'm going to be our accessory i'm going to be using the front you can use an accessory of a choice but this i love it it's so beautiful and so this is the fabric i'm working with whenever i'm doing zara with material i love using a shiny doll face this is called shine doll face this one is very thick than the normal doll face and so this is the we're going to be having two pieces of fabric please if you are doing this for a customer even if you are doing this for yourself if you are using a fabric make sure you double it it brings out the beauty of your work then you're using own fabric and so this is our mako moko anything you call it so you just go to people that sell sewing machine material like i said before like sorry like shoe material just get your marco tier it comes in board just say that you want to buy marco it comes with board so this is it so that is friend on this is it this is it i think this tutorial is very very easy because this is going to be our third zara for this year we have done Zara before, but this is going to be our third Zara. I'm going to be having more videos on Zara Cap. And so this is it. So the next thing we're going to be doing, I did a notch there. Then I'm going to take this again. So I'm going to spread it just like that. I want to sew my marco inside. Without your marco, there is no Zara. Oh. So let me say it and shout again. Without your Marco, there is no Zara. Zara, Marco. Yeah. So, this is this. Now, you're going to place this like this. Just take your tape rule and make a measurement of 3 inches. You make a measurement of 3 inches. You know, our Marco is 3 inches. So, you mark 3 inches. So, it's 3 inches. I'm going to be marking that down, down, down. Then you see. Ah, opposite. So, I'm going to be placing that Marco at that same point. I Marco, can you see just same point that I mark? I'm going to fold just like that. I'm going to fold and I'm going to be sewing this down. I'm going to take this to the sewing machine. I'm going to sew it down. Just leave like some inches for sewing. Close that part. Can you see my, the way my hand is? Tell me this video is very very easy now. Everything is showing. You know that I mean I can't see what you're doing. You know. So can you see that I really take my time in doing this for you? And this is the time back because this one is just red made. Not that you just tie at the back. No, this one is just so red made. Just put it on your head and you're good to go. Ten inches by six inches. That is what the tying. So I'm going to be sewing that part. I'm closing it and leave one part opened. So I've already joined it to so the body of this Zara. Can you see? I've already joined it. Can you see? I will neatly it. 
and after that i'm going to m the round of the zara cap you can weave it anyone you like doing so i'm going to be tying this so if you want to actually get the size of a zara you can take it to dummy's head you can put it on your head just take it to your head and see it if it sits beautiful on your head some like like in mind i want to do it zara because now if i want to wear this uh, like i'm i'm not rocking this so if i want to wear it i'm going to lose it a little bit at the back i don't like very tight zara some people say they want something tight so just but if you don't want something that is very tight make sure you just lose it a little bit at the back so i'm going to be tying that part i'm going to be tying it so I'm going to be using my needle and thread just the way I'm doing it. Check the videos. So you tie in and now tie in and now. This video is for you that is beginner as well. So there is no excuse as I can't make Zara. So you can make Zara with this. So you just keep doing that. You keep sewing in and out. And please, the most important thing is that don't only watch this video. Subscribe, oh please. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Very, very important. Oh, I important go. So, and this is it. This is the placing clothing. I cut out 58 inches. I cut out 58 inches. Yeah, 58 inches. And the next thing I'll be doing now, we call it a rolling station. Just take your needle and thread. Spread your placing out and start to make a pleating can you see so you do your splitting from the root parts can you see just keep doing that you have to take this very easy you don't need to rush yourself just take your time can you see it's going to because it's a pleating clothing it's a little bit joints joints so you have to be so you have to take it so easy with you so just keep doing that can you see what we are doing see what we are doing you know see you keep doing that you pull it out you repeat the same thing just keep doing that it's very very easy So you're going to do that to get to the last end for this back side. Just use a needle and thread to secure that part. And when you're done with the needle and thread, you can add a little stone to it. You can add any little accessory. You can add flower to that part so to hide your sewing. And so we are done with um, the plating clothing. Can you see? Just take a look at this. this is so beautiful and so i'm going to put this to the zara cap the sewing part is going to be facing down part again the sewing part of the plating is going to be facing down part so we're going to use your hands to get apart and take a needle and thread to sew in and out the only thing i'm going to advise you is that never use a hot glue to do your finishing like ah well, it takes time for me to sew. Yeah, bring gum out, sharp, sharp things. No, 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 no. It's not going to make your work work very neat. Can you see? Make sure your work is so neat, so you can to sew in and out. Oh, this is my Zara. I think it's coming out so beautiful. What's thing about this accessory is like I love this. I so much love this. There is beauty in everything. This is so cute and so beautiful. Ah, just look at it. This one is called what we call Buga. So beautiful. And for the Moko side, if you want to make, make it eye, you can make it eye. And if you're crying, say, I have to say, ah, I mean, I don't want it to be too big, oh. just reduce your marker to two inches. If your client wants something simple. And that is the back. Make sure you cover the back. You can use flower you can use button accessory to cover the part but the best thing for this just use that 
gross it's going to come out so beautiful so i'm going to be adding the hot glue to it we all know what is our hot glue our candle gum that's what's your hot glue just plug it and when it's hot just bring out the candle out and if you don't have candle yet if you're a beginner madam use your needle and thread to secure that part just use your needle and thread to secure that part can you see oh so follow me on instagram start by me on on facebook queen prissy my facebook group account is as of me now and my telegram is tied by me now. so i'm trying to get the whole telegram that's as of me now, but i can't get it so and her new open telegram is style by me now. so that's it and this just add it with your hot glue same thing with your hot glue can you see and so this is the finishing part oh this is the finishing part though so i'll be seeing you next time on my next video don't forget to subscribe like share with friends and family bye darlings bye bye